I see. So the angels of Crucius were really half-elves. Please don't tell anyone about this. We don't want to start a panic. Indeed. Especially now that the Tower of Salvation is gone. I wouldn't dare tell people the truth. Tower of Salvation is gone? After that frightening earthquake, the tower disappeared from the eastern sky, along with that monstrosity. How could it disappear? I don't know. The Chosen never completed the ritual of regeneration. The Crucius core system, which controls the appearance of the tower, may have malfunctioned. It is of little consequence. No, it's not. It's a tremendous shock to the people of Silverant. After a giant earthquake sunders the land, the symbol of salvation vanishes. The Chosen will be held responsible. Why? Lots of other Chosen have failed up till now, too. The others have paid for their failure with their lives. But Colette is still alive. When people are suffering, they feel the need to place the blame on someone. It is not fair to Colette. I'm gonna go see what's going on in the village. I'll go too. Let's all go together then. Sounds like it's a bit sketchy for you to be walking around by yourself. I'll stay here. Go on.
Boy! Dad! How have you been? Were you affected by the earthquake? This area is on top of hard bedrock. Everything is fine. Dirk, we are here by the request of Colette's family. They wish for you to help her. I'm afraid even if Crucius crystals are an evolved form of X-Sphere, I still don't know the first thing about them. And it'd be a better idea to ask a dwarf over in that Tethyala place. Oh, so even you don't know anything about these? I'm sorry I couldn't be of help. At least stay here for the night to get some rest. I must politely decline. Ah, all right. Wait, are you really going back to Crucius? I am an angel of Crucius. Then why didn't you follow Yggdrasil's orders? To leave the Great Seed alone? I have my reasons, that's all. But as a result, Martell was not lost. That goes along with Yggdrasil's wishes. It's true, then. You really are our enemy. Lloyd. What? If you want to save the Chosen, you should research the records from the ancient Karlon War. Remember the words of the Unicorn at Lake Umasi. Wait, why are you with Crucius when you're a human? What is he trying to do? Hey, wasn't that Kratos just now? Sheena! Yeah, he returned to Crucius. I see. So he really is our enemy. Yeah, but anyway, welcome back. Thanks. Thank goodness we stopped the giant tree. Yeah. You know, up until now, I've always hated my ability to make packs with summoned spirits. Huh? Why? Because I caused the death of countless people in my village due to my inexperience. Oh. And on top of that, I'm not even from Mizuho to begin with. What do you mean? I was abandoned as a child, just like Genius and Rain. Mizuho's chief found me by chance. Then I was sent off to the Summon Spirit Research Laboratory as proof of Mizuho's loyalty to the kingdom. They treated you like a bargaining chip. Well, don't get me wrong, I mean, I'm not upset about that. The chief took really good care of me. I wanted to become a full-fledged summoner and make myself useful. For his sake as well. I see. But I ended up unleashing Volt and killed so many people, including Orochi and Kuchinawa's parents and the chief fell into a coma. Even Corinne, the very first friend I ever had. Cheer up, Sheena. It was because you can use summon spirits that we were able to stop the giant tree. Thanks. But everything happened because I made a pact with all the summon spirits. That's the renegade's fault. What? They told us stuff without really knowing what they were talking about, so it's their fault. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> What? But you know, the whole thing started when we jumped to conclusions and started forming pacts with summon spirits. Well, yeah, but... Hmm. Well... I know. By doing what we thought was right, countless people in Silveront lost their lives. I can never forget that. And I know you feel responsible for that even more than I do. Yeah. We bear the weight of countless people's sadness and anger. Regrets and unrealized dreams. I know. We can't give up until we've turned that into hope. Who knows? Maybe your power to use summon spirits exists for that purpose. <laughs> I like to think so. This area resembles Ozette. Yeah. This entire area is surrounded by a forest. Lloyd, I heard about Chocolat. And about Marble? Yes. And other things as well. Were you hurt by Chocolat's hatred towards you? Well, yeah. It's definitely painful when someone hates you, even if I deserved it. I see. But I'm going to do everything I can to make up for it. Even if I don't ever make up for it completely. Even if she never forgives you? 
Whether or not you're forgiven isn't important. It's the effort that matters. At least, that's what I think. The problem is what to do now. We need to know how the two worlds were forced apart before we can figure out a way to save them. How the worlds were forced apart? I wonder about that too, but... I also want to know why Yggdrasil split the world in two. Don't you think it was to protect the Great Seed? To protect Martell? But because the worlds were pulled apart, that phase thing got shifted. And the Great Seed became unstable, right? And that's not really protecting her. That's more like putting her in danger. Lloyd, you manage to say something intelligent every now and then. You're absolutely right. Every now and then? Jeez, that's harsh. The who, why, and how. That's what we need to know. Right now, all we know is who. This whole time, Colette hid her suffering deep in her heart. And always kept a smile on her face. Yeah. And once again, I failed to notice. She is a courageous girl. It takes tremendous strength to smile no matter how dire the situation. Colette hides her suffering too much. It's okay for her to let her true feelings show. She knows the power that words possess. Power of words? Your will manifests itself in the words you speak. Whether they be curses or words of joy, the soul of those words yields power. I get it. Okay, and I'm gonna say it out loud right now. I will save Colette and both worlds. I bet you lived a crappy hard life so far, huh? Gee, you sure know how to cheer someone up, don't you? <laughs> well, don't worry about it too much. So now what? Aren't you at your wit's end right about now? Why do you say that? The giant tree, which we thought was all good, goes nuts. Our cute little Colette comes down with some funky cold. It's just human nature to start getting tired of it all. I'm never gonna give up. If I quit, I'll never be able to face all the people who've suffered because of what I've done. So I'm gonna fight to the very end. I can't give up. Hot-headed and stubborn as hell. Well, but I guess that's what I dig about you. I feel like I'm starting to hate humans more and more. I'm sorry, Genus. You don't have to apologize, Lloyd. I like you, as well as the people of Isalia. It's just that when I think about how there are lots of people who think just like the mayor... I remember a lesson where the professor said that words exist in order for people to understand one another. What do you do about people who don't want to understand? Genus. I'm sorry. I don't mean to take it out on you. Don't worry about it. Lloyd, I'm sorry. I'm being a burden to you again, aren't I? What are you talking about? You're the one that's suffering. Stop apologizing. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna save you, so just hang in there for a little while longer. Thank you, Lloyd. <laughs> 